show you what this bad boy can do. Welcome to another episode of Titanium Man Garage. And today we're going to go over did I get screwed or not? So I bought this 2009 Sportsman 800X2, knowing the transmission was bad. Uh, I also found a couple other issues with it, and if you've seen my previous videos, you know what I'm talking about. But me, I like to roll the dice and gamble once in a while, because sometimes you get lucky. So I bought this, and the guy said that there was an issue with the transmission. It's probably gonna get, need to get replaced. So in my mind, I'm thinking, okay, with what I paid for this, it might be a $300 part if I rebuild the transmission, or it could be 1100 bucks depending on what the issues are. So me being me, you know, I'm a little bit of a gambler. I rolled the dice, hope for the best, and let me show you what I found. All right, so this thing came with turf mode, and uh, here's a warning to you guys. If you have an ATV with turf mode, or even a UTV for that matter, I see a lot of guys that just drive in turf mode, meaning the center of the transmission disengages one axle from the other, so only one axle spinning, the other axle is freewheeling. So if you drive on grass, you don't tear up your lawn. Well, a lot of guys, they drive in turf mode constantly, and that puts a lot of pressure on one axle, which would be this one. So watch what happens when I spin this wheel and watch this. Feel that. So immediately I thought, okay, well, there's got to be an issue with the transmission. I did some research and on a whim, I thought, well, maybe it's the splines on the axle shaft that are worn, but I, I highly doubted it. So, Got this loose already. I'm only gonna show you guys what I found out. Pull that up. If you gotta remove your axle shafts, a lot of times I use a screwdriver. It just came right out. Now watch what happens when I put it in slightly. Both axles spin. So I got damn lucky. So I'll show you the difference between the splines. But yeah, it turned out it was just the axle shaft. A $300 to $1,100 part versus a $69 part. <laughs> I'd say I got pretty damn lucky. So I'm gonna go ahead and rip this apart. I had it apart once before so I could find out what was going on. I just want to take this off so that's out of the way. It'll be a lot easier to put the axle shafts in place. This is 2009. I'm actually liking these. They don't have the stupid bushings like the older ones have. Pull that out. I already greased up the wheel bearing. Put those up here, pull that out. And I ordered a new axle shaft, and I'm gonna show you the difference between the two in about a minute here. All right, well, I hope that's focusing in on for you guys. So these splines are really good. Got some good grooves. This is a used, came off of 2007. This one, they're completely rounded off. So that's where I got lucky, and I've never come across this. I don't know why, if you were in turf mode, it would put so much pressure on that axle, that, that axle shaft that it would actually burn up the splines. My only thought is, this thing was probably used on a farm, and the guy was doing some towing. He did have a plow mounted to the front of this. I mean. Did he have it in turf mode while he was plowing? <laughs> if he did, he was an idiot. Um, I don't know. I don't know what the cause is, but I'm going to go ahead and throw that back in. 
and this unit should be good to go. While you're at it, put some anti-seize on the threads. You hear about those guys that no matter what they do, they can't get these rear axle shafts off. You hear horror stories how they hook it off to their truck and try to pull it off. <laughs> I actually uh, used an air hammer on mine um, to get them off if they're that stubborn. Air hammer and two screwdrivers and pop it off. So got that gun lubed up. Let's throw this in place. And I forgot my hammer. Grab a hammer quick. A little, little tap. So it's in place. Look at that. Problem solved. Sweet. I put this back together. for that. Should only be torqued on to 30 foot pounds, I think. Gun is a little bit, a little bit too excessive. Alright, let's get this on. Find my cotter pin, put that in, put the boot on. And uh, the reason I have the rear brakes hanging here, actually on both sides, is I'm gonna replace the, the brake pads while I got it this far apart. I'm gonna go ahead, grease everything up where all the grease zerks are. spinning or shimming or anything like it was before so it's not the transmission gotta love it <laughs> sweet deal so I bought that uh, used part off of eBay I think I paid 54 bucks I also went through and cleaned all the uh, fuel injection system replaced the starter and replaced the spark plugs so all in all I've got 110 bucks into this thing. Yeah, I don't know. These X2s sell for good money, so. 
If you like the video, hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, I got a lot of new subscribers. I hope you've seen uh, my 300 plus videos I got on my channel. Oh, and by the way, just because somebody tells you your transmission shot doesn't necessarily mean it's shot. So, like I said once again, I like to roll the dice. Things could have went south. I could have ended up spending $1,100 on this unit, but I didn't. So catch you guys on the next video, and like always, till next time.